Hi everyone. If you're watching this video, then that means that you have been following me because this is video four of my flower shop PEGA application. I wanted to um, go ahead and continue right where we left off and I want to continue using data pages. So let me go ahead and get started and show you what we're going to do next to uh, configure add-ons view. Now I'm already in the step add-ons. So I want to configure a view. And I'm going to click on here and I'm going to create a field. Now this one has to be type field group list. Okay, add-ons for flowers. Um, and so, yeah, here we create a field group list. Now I'm gonna add properties. So I want item and I wanna turn this into uh, read only, yes. I want uh, price and this will be currency. Read only, obviously. I want quantity. This will be integer and I want them to be able to, instead of with the data page flowers, this one add-ons for flowers will allow the user to enter a quantity, right? That's what I want. I want them to add as many things as they want. So click submit. Okay, now we want to refresh the data types. Okay, so here we go. So we see the same thing as before. We haven't configured a source. We haven't told Pega, hey, you know what? I want you to hold my records here. So that's what we want to do. Let's do... Just going to go ahead and add the key. Save. Hmm. And Now let's take a look here. Okay, so now I have my PYG UID. That's gonna be the key that brings back the records for the user that will display them for the user. We've got quantity, we want price, item. And close this. Hmm. I don't know if I like the way that these are arranged. So let's go back and we want to edit the columns, right? So I want to put item first, price second, quantity last. Okay, that looks good. So I'm adding uh, balloons. I'll put a quantity here. Oh, it's spelled. Let's do 980. We're adding uh, chocolates. And let's do a stuffed animal. Let's do also $14.99. And let's do, I've seen those, I've never gotten one, but Crystal Rose and we'll charge $39. So fancy. All right, so we see. Um, so our data page is now a database and we wanna refresh so you can see. There we go. Now we have our list, we have our savable and we have our add-ons, just a regular data page. So let's close this out. Okay, so we wanna go ahead and run this. Done. 
right? We did this last time on video one. We added this information, video one or two. We added this table where we can use a Boolean to have the customer select what they want to purchase. And again, we see this, right? I, I didn't set it up correctly, so I need to go into the UI and fix it. That means that the table properties are not uh, configured correctly. So we're here. And you can tell because when you click on preview, that doesn't work. So let's go into our table properties. This is correct. I always remove the grid header and footer, add-ons for, right? So we wanna to refer to the data page. And again, we wanna to refer to the data page that has the record. So that would be the list. We save that. Okay, submit, we're gonna save. Now, if you ever have a situation where you are you see this field here and it should be read-only, you can easily go in here into your presentation and you wanna put read-only, right? Click on read-only. Now, um, for us, we do wanna have a placeholder text. Remember I said before that you, it's something that you can add in there in quantities. Um, it, we, I mentioned it before for the collect customer information, but we didn't do it, so I'm doing it here. Uh, placeholder would be a zero because we want the user to know you don't have to. You don't have to put a number there. So we're going to save and let's preview. And there we go. And you see the little light gray zero because that's placeholder. If I type something, it's, it erases it. Perfect. Okay. Let's refresh here. There we go. Now, let's see. Because we selected integer, um, this already has some validations on there. So I can't, I'm typing, I'm trying to type in letters. So that's not going to let me. I'm trying to type in, oh, it does let me. Ooh, let's see. What did I do? Oh. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so it does let me do that. Uh, I'm trying to type in a period, period. Yes, it does, comma, no. Uh, so we were gonna have to do some additional validations on our own. I don't want someone to enter uh, 3,425 or 23, we want a whole integer. It did save it, it just eliminated the zero, uh, the decimal, but that's still not what we want. I'd rather just go straight to my records data model, and I'm gonna to go to property. So that's gonna be the last thing that I add, added. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and continue here. I'm gonna click on quantity. So here we're gonna, I'm gonna expect only the length of one digit, okay? Um, Validate, let's see, we want is integer. Now this is a pega out of the box validation, that's great. I wanna go a step further though. I wanna tell pega what acceptable values are. So I'm only gonna accept 10, up to 10. So let me add those here. Up to the number 10, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'll, I add a few more and I'll let you know why. So here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I also want to allow zero in case they feel the need to enter zero. And I want to allow blanks. So, because they can leave it alone. Okay, we close this out. And I'm going to refresh. So now I'm going to try and say that big number. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. So now we get this error. It's not within the defined. What if I put dot 
and save that. That's also not going to work. So let's try 10. Oh my God, that'd be too many. <laughs> but you see that is in localist, so that's acceptable. Submit, advance the case, advance case. And now you're done. Okay, so, and now you see that we're able to give the user the option to be able to enter a quantity of whatever product we're, we're um, offering. Whereas before in step two, they didn't have a choice. They can only purchase one bouquet and then they can choose as many add-ons. So um, in the next step, I will cover, in the next video, I'll cover step four, which is scheduled delivery. And hopefully I can get the rest of these to you ASAP.